Well, you know, I used to talk, as a lot of people do, about concerns about preserving privacy, privacy on the net. Um, but I think that ship has sailed. I think that there is no privacy uh, left in the world. <laughs> I think we just have to resign ourselves to it. Um, and so what I'm hoping we'll see is some changes in mores uh, reflecting uh, the death of privacy. Uh, and you know, people are still trying really hard to preserve privacy. I'm going to lots of meetings this week on email privacy. It's still a good thing to try for. I'm just fundamentally skeptical in the long term. What I am guardedly optimistic about is that the death of privacy will lead us to uh, better attitudes in certain regards in society. I don't think it's a coincidence that as privacy has been disappearing, we've seen more acceptance for gays and for marijuana smokers and for other people who do things that are basically harmless. Um, and I think what's going on there is when those people manage to keep what they did totally private, you could say, oh, I hate gays, I hate gays, not knowing that your best friend was gay. You know, that, that sort of thing. And so the death of privacy has forced people to recognize more of the diversity of, of humanity and slowly to even accept it. That's, that's somewhere between a prediction and a hope. <laughs>